find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Did you hear about that new band? Their name is 1023 Megabytes. They haven't got a gig yet. Hey guys, it is the Awesome Cast episode 259. I can already tell we're going to have a fun one here. We got a hell of a crew, a lot of them in studio. I have everybody all over the place. Some people haven't been on here for a good long time. Look at all those people if you're on the video here. First of all, let's go to the couch. Uh, and this, there's a monkey on there too. Uh, Katie Dude is, uh, Dutter is on, Kate Dutter is on the Twitter. How you doing? Good. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Look at this thing I got from Loot Crate. Isn't it sweet? What, explain it for the audio people. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. You don't get Loot Crate. <laughs> <laughs> I got something. So uh, my friend Missy uh, got a sweet Loot Crate, and they had a Zelda armband, and she gave it to me. Wait, how the hell did you get the Zelda armband? <laughs> Tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Is that fitting my giant ass over here? You know? So, uh, yeah, 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 I was, I was amazed. So I was away and Missy got the loot crate like the day after I left and she did a video and I think she did a good job too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was very good. I I enjoyed it. And then I felt followed up with a sword crate. Yes, you did. (laughs) Oh boy. I, and, and I got to see these like, like while I was drinking too. I was like, what is happening right now? (laughs) What are these guys messaging me? What? Wait, did you, did you approve it while drunk? Did I approve it while drunk? Yeah. I don't remember. Is that a problem? Is that, is that a problem? <laughs> because Missy said that she recorded it for it, recorded it and sent it to you for pre-approval. Right. So I re- I'm assuming you only watched it once. Yes. Which means and you said that she sent it to you while you were drinking. I might have been. So, uh, listen, listen, I can't so remember. Using my powers of deduction... You approved a video for your products while drunk. Actually, it was also for your products because it went on your site too. Boom. So, I know. But no, she did great. She did a great job. I, and, and honestly, this is a little of audition because I've always been, I, I never knew how well Missy would do on video, but she really kind of uh, carried the thing very well. So uh, you might see some, her on some more videos around here. Uh, but uh, she did very well. Look at the, the set pieces and everything. She edited it together. I think she sent me a screenshot of using uh, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, so so th- 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 it worked out really well. So um, so I'm really happy about that. No, no, I and, 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 that's, and I'll talk about that a little bit too because I was reviewing the video while I was waiting for wrestling to start um, at 1 in the morning uh, in a field in Ohio. Technology rules. Uh, so also with this, you might saw him hanging out over there. He's Will Rutherford, Papa Lunchbox, if you're uh, uh, of the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, listener base. Also, PanelRiot.com, at DJ Lunchbox on the Twitters. He is uh, a man of the podcasting world and a uh, man of uh, the, uh, the graphics in the web world of a sorts, too. Yes, that's, that's all true. I have to let people know why you're here technologically. Like, what is oh. your background? <laughs> I, I'm trying I, to remember. I'm, I'm just spouting your resume, man. I understand. I understand. He's I not am... just a dude with a podcast. He also <laughs> actually does this stuff, you know. That's true. I do do uh, graphics and uh, work for online stuff in my day job. Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of the day job, I get to uh, uh, appear in the studio, which is rare for me as I am currently on vacation. Yes. Uh, I'm off all week, and I thought, why not? The best way to celebrate that is to uh, come here to Sorgatron Media Studios and do some podcasts. Yeah, yeah. All night long, right? All night long. All night long. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> also with us, you heard him there. Uh, he is uh, upcoming Chachi Plays. You can check out ChachiPlays.com. Uh, we'll be doing that in uh, just under two weeks here uh, as of this recording, uh, hanging out at the Tunesium. He's uh, Anthony Walker. Chachi. You know, we're, we're officially on this one, so I got your fu- your full name on here. That's fine. <laughs> can we can we point out that I haven't been here since I left Awesome Cast? <laughs> really? I have not been on the show since I stopped co-hosting the show with you. Oh. Well, you know, so, you've had other things you to do. You've had other things I to know. do. It's a momentous occasion. Just, 
Just pointing out, I haven't been here. So how are you doing? You're prepping for, for Chachi Plays? Uh, we're doing, actually, uh, we're doing great. Um, uh, we had a, uh, a pledge a pledge match over the weekend of $500, and we made that, that goal. So that took us, not only did we gain $1,000 in a weekend, but that took us to damn near half of our goal this year of $2,400. Nice, nice. And of course... Um, and then... Thanks to the addition of uh, Dutters to the Chachi Plays team, we are adventuring out this year. Uh, we're looking for entertainers in the Pittsburgh area that are willing to donate a couple hours of their time to come down and entertain the people and get more people in the building. Awesome. awesome. We're turning into a circus. We are turning into a circus. Um, we, we discussed animals and then decided that that would probably be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. So, no animals yet. I'll just, we'll just it, say it, that. it has happened. It has happened at the uh, Tunesium before, though. So I don't know exactly. I, I could not imagine the permit that you need to uh, acquire for that to happen. Well, and that's mild compared to some of the other ideas that we pitched uh, earlier this afternoon. So I'll tell you what. And like I, I discussed on the Power Hour with Will here uh, the, the other day, uh, I am really enamored with fire, eater, like fire breathers and twirlers and stuff right now. <laughs> so, like, because I just experienced that for like four days straight, uh, and people kept asking if I was at Burning Man over this last week. But uh, it was, it, they, but you know, we don't want to burn the That's art. Mild. Down. That's mild what, compared to the ultimate idea that we came up with. Oh no! Oh no! I can't wait! I can't wait! Oh, so. yeah. No, it, it it couldn't happen. Uh, a friend of ours reached out for some. Uh, uh, Suggesting some entertainers, uh, we we requested friend, family friendly entertainers, and the type of entertainment is not exactly family friendly, <laughs> which led us to even less family friendly entertainment and for since it's for over since it's for kids, right? Right, right. Yeah, Strachy plays for kids, so we're trying to keep it family friendly. Um, we had some we were discussing adult entertainment for the overnight hours. And uh, decided ultimately that the Tunesium would probably never let me come back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are open to suggestions. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, we're going to be checking, talking a little more about that and, and, and everything else going on. Please go to Charchi, .com, uh for um, for that for be able to donate and find out information, and then you can join us there live or on the stream. So. Great. Okay, and of course, uh, this if you you know first on the show, you can check us out awesomecast.net. Also, awesomecast.com. That works now. Uh, thank you, Rob, for finding my email from a year ago <laughs> and fixing that. Uh, and uh, you can also join us here live at live.awesomecast.net every Tuesday night. Uh, also, hey, we got a Patreon. Thank you so much uh, for our, our Patreon uh, 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 Patreon our patron. There, that's the word for it. Uh, this will see a business development up in Cranberry Township, uh, PA, uh, just north of the city here, uh, supporting the show. Five dollars an episode. Thank you very much. And we'd love, we'd love if we we got to the point where you guys are supporting the show. If you find value in the show, if you're entertained in this show, if you want us to help, uh, kind of uh, uh, gain new equipment and uh, upgrade things a little bit around here, make the show bigger, better, maybe portable. That'd be awesome. I love a briefcase. We just open it up. We do a show. All the mics connect. Boom. Let's do that. Uh, I got the briefcase for it. We just need the tech. Sork, yes. Can I just say you're 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 pitching this wrong. You're I'm pitching, pitching this wrong? wrong. Okay. Is that is that all what's all wrong? Okay. What, what what's happening? If you want to be Sword's boss, oh, <laughs> donate or uh, contribute to the Patreon. Patreon. That puts you in control. That's the way to pitch it. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You give, you gotta give people the power. Mm -hmm. And so, that's a, and that's exactly what we've been doing for the Wrestling Mayhem show, and we're building it up here in Awesome Cast, and and uh, we, we you get special uh, uh, state of the shows uh, that we talk about a little bit of the behind the scenes that we don't talk about publicly a lot of times uh, about plans and, and what we're doing with everything. Uh, and, and you do get a little more uh, weight to your suggestions on how to improve the show and what the, what the beyond. And a lot of people that are Patreons, that is your first step usually to become part of the show, sometimes even on screen as well. Uh, 
I mean, look at all the guys on Wrestling Mayhem show that are a part of uh, uh, the show that that and still contribute uh, to the show. So they're completely all in on, on a part of it. And if you don't, if you don't have a couple bucks to spare, there, that's fine. Just please share the show, subscribe to us on iTunes, uh, leave a comment, whatever you can do to share uh, what we're doing here. So let's get into it with our awesome things of the week. So uh, first of all, uh, Katie, what do you got over here? I have something. It is called the OrCam. And since we talk a lot about the the um, kind of the video technology and things to attach to your glasses, mm-hmm. uh, OrCam is something it's devel- it was developed for the blind and uh, visually impaired individuals. And it's with one motion of your finger, like pointing your finger up, you can read, print, uh, signs. Uh, it also recognizes people's faces. Uh, like the video now we're watching, it's um, they were able to read the signs walking down the street. Okay. So you might not be able to see terribly well or at all, and it will be able to um, read the things for you. Um, it's also working on technology to um, recognize um, other tasks and things around the house. So you, if you're you're a blind person, you can just you can move much easier through the house just using your finger to. Um, be able to uh, figure out, you know, if you need something from the store or if you pull a carton out that might be orange juice or it might be milk, you're able to just kind of wave your finger over it and read it. And it attaches right to your glasses. It's, it's really pretty cool. Awesome. So, so wait, so it's, it's, so it's like, let's say it's like a Google Glass. Like, so this is like an augmented reality kind of situation here? It just reads it and, and you, it's a little earpiece too. I forgot that. that oh, part. okay. So it's a little earpiece and it'll read the words for you. Okay. So you can hear what you're, uh. Instead of a, if you can't read, you can actually hear the words and um, and, and signs. So I mean, if you're walking down the street and, and you know, especially if, for a blind or visually impaired person, it just you can read anything, even books or menus. I even saw that you know someone maybe up in age who cannot read a menu. Mm-hmm. It makes it easier for them. So this seems like a little more of like where we're talking about with ViewCam um, mm-hmm. uh, previously, where where it seems like they're taking that that form factor of we're going to stick this thing on your glasses Mm -hmm. and again i love that it's just like there's so many things that just attach to your glasses that you probably already have and i guess if you're visually impaired you probably have some sort of glasses anyways Mm -hmm. but uh that that you're just kind of segmenting these little like this device does this and and this is what this person needs um i i think if nothing else google glasses hopefully inspired more and more stuff like this right Mm -hmm. so i think it's amazing i and it's it's really, I, I just can't get over the fact that it can uh, identify people, mm-hmm. which, uh, heck, that would be perfect for me because I do not remember people very well. I cannot remember names <laughs> so to save it, my life. So is this the Sorry. thing that I need to to uh, recognize all the people at networking events now? Yeah, maybe. Like maybe this pops up uh, from LinkedIn profiles or something, some facial recognition. Like mm-hmm. this is, this is, that's the promise that, that I was hoping out of Google Glass was something like that. And, and but, uh, but no, that, that, that's really cool. Yes, yeah, so I, I like. I just like how this technology is going and, and how we're using it to help people. Mm-hmm. So. And I presume it just kind of pops in your ear, so like it's not bothering everybody else. That Mm-mm. you know, other than you just have this thing on your. Uh, so what is she looking through her? Uh, she's looking through her groceries right now. Yeah, she's in the fridge. Oh, what's this? So awesome, <laughs> awesome. Go check that. It's orcam dot com. O r c a m. So cool. And it's uh, all over Sienna. Is this is this uh, widely available? Yeah, it is a. Uh, it's out for order now. Yeah, you can order it now. I think they're out of Jerusalem, which is uh, oh really? Yeah, but it's available online to order anywhere. But there's only in select stores. I think Philadelphia is the only place in Pennsylvania. You it's can pretty get it. pretty amazing how much stuff is coming from the Middle East, especially Israel, because I think Waze is from I think Jerusalem as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was something I was debating on whether to bring this up, but there was actually a uh, what do they call it uh, pot botics, like a, a a they were trying to figure out what like levels of, of marijuana like work with certain brains and stuff and that was really kinda of getting deep and work with epilepsy actually. Mm-hmm. And I think that one was also from somewhere around there too. So uh da, 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 da. I don't know. Uh but uh but no they, it, it, so there's a really cool tech hub coming out of there. Um which you know I mean we think of the Middle East, we don't think of you know, we think of like all the warring nations and crap, right? We mm-hmm. don't think of, you know, there's actually some some tech incubation of some sort happening out there mm-hmm. that's really cool so even the ride sharing thing we talked about a few weeks ago with yeah. Blaze, that was out that that they're starting that over there right mm-hmm. so awesome or cam.com check it out uh chachi what's your awesome thing of the week 
My awesome thing of the week, uh, over the weekend, uh, there was an update to the YouTube app on Android that I know of. I don't know about an iPhone. Um, but it will now let you minimize the app and continue listening to whatever it is you're reviewing. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, this is a huge thing for me because I'm constantly trying to listen to different music that I don't have on my phone or at the time didn't have on my phone because I recently joined uh, Google Play, uh, the Google Music Service. So now I have everything. But before, I would be like, oh, I really want to hear this song. Let me look up YouTube. And I would play the song and I'd have to leave the phone unlocked and open to see or listen, at least listen to what I was trying to listen to. And now they fixed it so that I can put my phone in my pocket and still hear what I want to hear. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't seem so to, it, it doesn't seem to be happening on the iPhone version just yet, but it might be easier for them to do that kind of on their own Android uh, with their that's permissions, true. right? So that'd be cool, though. Um, wasn't, that, yeah. wasn't there something, wasn't that Playmoss, Will, that you had that one time yeah. to do something like that? Yeah, it's great. It still exists. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's super great. Although I do wish they would... Uh, integrate with YouTube to the point where you can import playlists that you already have made in YouTube. Mm -hmm. That would be handy. Mm -hmm. But uh, otherwise, it's great. I, uh, I often fall asleep listening to audio of Mystery Science Theater episodes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I know, Chachi, you're using, you're using it for music, but I, I listen to a lot of like TED Talks and stuff. And it'd be nice to be able to just like, oh, I'd love to continue this in the car, but I'm not going to put a video up on my dashboard, you know? Um, right. that I can just, you know, because I want to put my nav up or something. Uh, but to be able to throw that in the background, that'd be great. So hopefully that comes to, uh, to iPhone soon, right? So, uh, And also, chargeyplace.com. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thing of the of the month right there. So, uh, it, uh, fifth year or two of Chachi Plays, right? Yeah, uh, five years we've been doing this crazy thing. Um, it, 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 it's incredible. I mean... I get I get an excuse to sit down and play twenty four hours for a legitimate reason, mm -hmm. uh, which is harder than you think. All right, let, let's just get that out there. So playing video games for an extended period of time is not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. And and this is your so, fifth time doing it. And uh, yeah. and, and so you're you're getting uh you're you're getting uh, worked up for it. You're getting uh, in shape for it, right? Well, I'm always working out for it. I mean, I know this year you're hitting the gym, for yeah, instance. Well, Joined up for a gym membership so I could get in shape for it. There you go. There you go. Muscle tone is coming. He's going to be a beast in that uh, in that Wii game, uh, the <laughs> Wii, Wii golf game. He's going to be hitting it out of the park there, right? Right. So 4 a.m. Look forward. 4 a.m. Wii golf outing. Anybody wants to come out and join us? Um, yeah, but if, you want, if you're awake at 4 a.m. and you want to come down and play some golf, I won't even charge you. Well, we're making we're, we're making some friends with people that live downtown, so they could very much just roll out of the bed and walk down and join us. So, right. so I'm very excited about th that prospect. Maybe getting a few more people involved in that. So, so go check out ChachiPlays.com. Will, how you doing over there? Great. You got you got an awesome thing of the week? Yes, I do, Sorg. Uh, let me start with something that's not so awesome. Hmm. Uh, I'm a little tired of my phone. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm a little tired of my phone. I've got an iPhone 6, uh, and I love it. I really do. But uh, I'm a little bored. I'm a little bored with my uh, iPhone 6 currently, um, which I'm sure it'll pass. I'm sure something they'll do something. They have to do something interesting with the next phone to make me want a new one. But uh, in the meantime, I've got my eyes on the uh, fantastic looking OnePlus 2 which is coming out, uh, I think it's in uh, late August. It looks incredible. Um, it's uh, it's kind of like an off-carrier off phone. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's an unlocked Android phone, essentially. And uh, it looks fantastic. Everything I'm reading about it seems amazing. Um, hold on, I've got the specs here for, for spec junkies. Uh, Snapdragon 810 processor... Uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, 1080p, 5.5 inch screen, uh, and it looks it looks just fantastic. And it's going to come in at 390 dollars. That's off contract, fully unlocked. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Uh, it's got um, I think like dual micro SIM cards for uh, going back and forth between carriers, which I won't necessarily need. Uh, it's got a great camera. Uh, and just for like simple aesthetics, the back is changeable in the same way that the uh, Moto X was 
they have uh, nice. different different kinds of uh, backs and everything like that. And uh, I'm interested. My my previous experiences with Android and Android phones has not been great, mainly because of bloatware. You know what I mean? I had a I had a Samsung Galaxy tablet for a while, and it was just a piece of garbage. But it had a lot of potential. But it had just crap all over it. It was disgusting, and I got rid of it as soon as I could, and ended up getting a uh, going back to the iPad Mini. So the idea that I could get an Android phone that would run well and that would be clean mm -hmm. is very exciting to me. Uh, even the operating system, it isn't necessarily straight stock Android. Um, one plus one and one plus two run a version of, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Cyanogen? Cyanogen, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's incredibly customizable. It just, mm -hmm. it looks, it looks interesting and fantastic and it, uh, it might be time for a change. Cyanogen is like the kind of alt. I I don't know the best way to. I, I hear about it a lot. I don't know if it's like kind of like that jailbreaky version of Android. It's what like, it is. Like like right. Okay. Well, so they, it's, like, it's not really jailbreaky. It's more like an alternative ROM. Yeah. That you load. It's like it's a different operating system that you load on your phone. It's still Android. It's still got the base bits in there. Right. But I think it has its own store. If I'm not mistaken. I think so. Okay. I think yeah, and you can does. Okay. And, and it's it, and I know it's been like a lot of Chinese manufacturers have been doing their phones solely on with cyanogen. Yeah. Um I think is this the one that Microsoft is investing in? I'm not sure. I, I think so. That'd be great. Like it's one of those. So like they they started investing in an Android one. Mostly they hit all those kind of alternative mar markets. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I hear great <laughs> God bless Sorry. you. I'm allergic to Will. Sorry. <laughs> um, I hear great things about this phone, and mm -hmm. and just it's great hardware. It looks clean, and I'd say if anything, uh, these days, it's not much to swap from yeah Android to iPhone. Plus, I'm in a very unique position right now where I I have the opportunity coming up where I could leave Verizon with no penalty. Oh, so it might be time to wade into the deep waters. Mm -hmm. And so, what would you go to? See what I find. I don't know. Probably either AT and T or Sprint. I would have to look and see who has good coverage in the city, mm -hmm. um, because that's where I spend most of my time. Right, but I know you're traveling out a little bit more. Sure. I would take a good hard look at that Sprint coverage. I know that. I think it is Sprint that has, does have good coverage do up in the, in the north. Yeah, but uh, I. I mean, I would do my research first, and probably uh, even if I did, I would come on here and check in occasionally and say, hey, mm -hmm. here's all the new phone is. So you're, you're going to go fully off contract, crazy. I'm thinking about it. I'm now, really now, thinking now, about it. And like, 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 Do you think if you went back to iPhone, you would just do a full on, I'm going to pay the full amount for it if no. you came back? No, you just... No, I would only go off contract for something like this. Okay. Yeah, if I was going to go for the new iPhone, whatever they come out with, yeah. I will stick with Verizon. Okay. Because they have really good coverage. Yeah. It's also worth mentioning that the, uh, the OnePlus 2 has the USB Type-C port. Which right. I'm excited to start integrating into my life as mm -hmm. soon as possible. <laughs> it is kind of like that's the best bit of uh, using like this thing that you're already using the lightning cord because it's the flippable one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so and 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 you're kind of future proofing yourself, aren't you? Yes. At that point. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because so, I actually heard. Uh, Kitty, I know you've used some Samsungs, but somebody somebody uh, was using a Samsung phone and uh, uh, saying that their charger wasn't as universal the other day have you experienced that or you were yours more than just a micro usb might have always just been micro usb okay it might have been just a weird version they had or something like mm -hmm. that but they said there was like an actual divot like an extra divot in it or something like that i'm wondering Ooh. if it's something like um like what this hard drive you have here well let me make sure it's not plugged in before i okay like like this thing has like this is kind of the usb3 thing and maybe this is what they're talking about that little kind of extra yeah. wide bit that they're doing so i don't know I don't know why if an Android phone would use USB three, but but all right. So yeah, yeah. Strangely, um, and, and they're not doing the thing because I remember the OnePlus ones when they first came out. There was a thing where like you could only only so many could be sold at a certain time. Yeah, and it you was, could you the, had to kind of sit on it for a little bit. Yeah, the way they rolled it out was not great. It was like a um, it caught a lot of buzz. Yeah. So I, um, pro, um, unfortunately, I think they're doing this again. Ugh. I think it's like invitation only kind of waiting list phones, but I'm not. I'm not strictly sure. You're gonna get a. I'm pretty, Go I'm pretty sure that's how they're paying for the manufacturer of further phones. Like they can only do a batch at a time. Right. So once once people 
uh, pay for uh, enough another run of the phone so that's when they release more it's, it's I'm like, pretty sure it's like they're doing a mini Kickstarter every time mm-hmm. right huh without without going through Kickstarter okay like they, they have enough capital to do so many which is what they release at first yeah once those sell they make profit and then they make enough to have another run of the phones done and it, I mean it's a great marketing strategy mm-hmm. I, I mean everybody knows about these phones in the, uh, I mean it, as far as uh, the tech able people know about these phones and they've all considered going with one of these phones if they're not uh, is super Apple people like you right right like if you're not if you're not dedicated to Apple then at one point you've heard about this phone and you're like huh maybe I should do that I mean that's the biggest thing and, and like I said I, I think this is the perfect time to you know be kind of able to flip right Mm -hmm. like like a couple years ago i would say no there's not the parity there but 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 to be able to all your apps are going to be there obviously your purchases aren't purchases aren't going to be so if you're playing certain games versus others but if you're not a person that's dropping like ten dollars on the latest infinity blade you're (laughs) probably going to be okay here Mm because you're probably playing the free games or cross platform anyways so Mm -hmm. and say more and more i don't think a lot of people are investing in that kind of stuff and I'm amazed at how many even games like Angry Birds and those like Injustice and Immortal games are cross-platforming the save games through other services, not just through like iCloud or Google Play services or something like that. So you don't even lose that stuff at a certain point because it's been amazing that I can pick up my Android tablet and still play that same game. And uh, I think that's really important today. So, so if you were ever thinking of jumping to the other side and just trying it out for a little bit, it's definitely the right time to do that right now. Right. So. Or even just getting a secondary phone like this that's like unlocked, you know, yeah. that, that you can just kind of flip a SIM or or whatever the case may be for your carrier. So, yeah. is Verizon using SIMs for LTE? Uh, I think they're slowly moving over. So, but it's still early days. Because I remember their iPhone 5s was like strangely unlocked if you mm-hmm. bought it through them, mm-hmm. and that that which meant that I think you could just throw an AT and T SIM in there and you would at least get the LTE part of it. Mm-hmm. But then you have to make sure you're an LTE service, which is mostly everywhere, to be yeah. honest. Like, I was amazed in the middle of Ohio. I was just, like, I was just riding LTE. So, anyways, uh, speaking of my awesome thing of the week, mm-hmm. um, it was, the, the I went to the Gathering of the Juggalos again, as I usually do, and it was kind of strange. To, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's so weird, because I remember going when we didn't have cell phones, when we didn't have all these creature comforts, when I think I had a disposable camera, and that's how I took pictures. We're talking like 2003, right? Uh, and, you know, much like last year, kind of going and, and, and realizing how many, how many cameras you got. You know, if you go to any concert, how many cameras are being held up? Or how many uh, uh, GoPros on a stick are going up there, especially this being an outdoor concert. People are just bringing whatever. There's fireworks going off all over the place. Um, This year, there was a drone, which I'm really surprised that nobody threw anything at. Uh, So, uh, and it was there for several days, and and, and, and it was really kind of surprised. But I guess they were doing that for some footage for, um, there was a lot of media coverage going on this year, and I can't wait to see that, especially over the uh, Fago throwing of the ICP shows. Uh, other than things I noticed, crazy people with full-size iPads uh, by the mosh pit. I noticed in. Those in those photos. Some of those photos you had taken, I was like, wow, that's an iPad. <laughs> oh, was the iPad in the shots? There were a couple you had taken that the, towards the stage that I had seen. It was full on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super close. Right there. Up to the mosh pit. I'm like, somebody's going to like punch right through that like like karate <laughs> style at some point here, right? Uh, but all over the place like and it wasn't even covered or anything too like it was almost to the point you need to have your thing in a in a uh a phone condom the entire time i was sitting waiting for the seminar and i had a bottle of water dumped on me and just completely doused my phone i'm shocked that nothing wrong has gone gone with it um and and like at some point at one point i like was periscoping down by the stage and just got blasted with a a, a bottle of water and the guys next to me is like you know you were asking for it, right? I'm like, yeah, you're right. I should have used the other one. Um, which, which actually, they, as we talked about last week, Katie let me borrow her 5S with the uh, awesome pink. Nobody said one thing the entire weekend about the pink case. The entire weekend. Pink but case is cool. you saw some of the pictures. 
I think I was not the weirdest thing there with a pink phone. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, but it was great to have that and just have that to be able to to take more video, take more pictures, not worry about you know again being in ICP and uh, you know having all the stuff thrown and getting doused with, with with soda and 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 being okay. I'm spoiled rotten with my life proof case. Honest to goodness, I am absolutely spoiled rotten that I can just not even think about it. It could be pouring down rain, and I'm just like murr, 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 taking pictures or doing whatever. Also held up very well. Pebble watch. Good. I wore it every night except for ICP night because I wasn't going to tempt that. I figured that was a little too much. Resistant, not waterproof. Um, but you, I definitely got a good bit of it. Like during just you know stuff gets thrown, especially during the bigger shows. You know the other three nights. And uh, it it's fine. I haven't noticed any issues with it. It's it's it definitely got wet uh, most of the time. Didn't have any rain over the weekend, uh, but uh, but held up very well. Uh, again, technology wise, uh, you know, actually, you know, with, with, I was hanging with uh, uh, Josh down there. Uh, he's actually in Columbus. He's actually a tech guy for um, for uh, Ohio State University, and uh, and does a uh, literate juggalos that we talked about last year. You know, very, you know, technology based and everything. And, and we were talking about like you were talking about the one plus two. He was shocked that he saw a couple one plus ones amongst the jugglos. So just a little bit of like like, you know, just like you you see the guy with the hatch man charm, like just out in public. You're just like, oh, he's one of us. You know, <laughs> you're just like, oh, I know what that is. That's what you're you're one of us, you know. Um, and then definitely people had all kinds of different phones. Some a little bit of tech watching there. I remember at one point. Um, some guy was beside me, and he was taking pictures and messing with stuff. And we weren't deep in the crowd; we were pretty out- outside. But he had like a freaking Samsung Note tablet, and I'm just like, "How's that tablet, man?" <laughs> <laughs> so I, I knew Katie; you'd appreciate that one too. Um, but just like a lot of, um, I was I, I, I shouldn't have been surprised at this. Uh, the one news site, Fega Lovers, um, they had they periscoped everything concerts came on uh hey so and so is live right now hey this seminar is live right now hey this uh this uh, uh miss Jugglet pageant is live right now you like it's getting to that point where like you know we talk about san diego comic-con we talk about ces so we talk about e3 we don't really need to go anymore because everything's being streamed to us we can view it and and write on it if you were a journalist say or a fan or whatever the case may be um if you didn't make it to the gathering you could go see everything <laughs> to a certain point. And they were really, really capitalizing on that. And they had a lot of activity going on in there. And uh, and it was really, really cool. Because um, ICP is, is usually, as, as a group, I, I've noticed that they're really up on social media. They're really up on uh, technology and connecting with their fans. I'm really interested in seeing at what, what point they just switch it over to the website. And mm-hmm. this is, you know, we have... So and so, you know, I mean, it would be an awesome interaction thing if they had uh, fans doing it for them, but they gave them, you know, this is the phone, this is it, just go ahead and stream what you want, and people could watch different versions of the show. Because, I mean, what you're in between all the stages, you might not want to watch a certain show or another, but you would be able to see all the action. So I, I could honestly, especially with that, with ICP, I could see them going into that mm-hmm. because they're so fan friendly and so in with technology and finding new ways to connect with their fans. Yeah. I, and I think, I think to a certain point, yes. And they just, um, I think they're a little spoiled that their fans do this stuff for them mm-hmm. a little bit. So they're like, cool. We don't have to worry about learning all that new stuff. Fega lovers is doing it. Juggalo news is doing it. Scotty mm-hmm. D awesome dude over there. Uh, you know, he's been running this site forever, forever. Um, and, 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 and he used to promote stuff on our, our, our old site before, right? And he's still rolling with it, and he's integrated everything and, and, and does very, very well with it um, as being, like, the kind of source for, for this kind of thing. Um, when I look at, like, the actual psychopathic records, the label that ICP's on, I see some misses. Um, they have an app. It's very kludgy. Uh, I was playing with that a little bit here today because uh, I'm just noticing it from their website. Uh, they, they, they're they forward-thinking in certain ways, but they're definitely, like, they don't have a social media team, I don't think, mm-hmm. as much. I don't think their, their, their Twitter account has been utilized a lot. The Gathering one has was mute. 
I didn't see any interaction from um, organizers about situations going on and people on Twitter. The, ha the hashtag was very lively. Yeah, dear ICP, if you would like us to volunteer for these wor these uh, opportunities, please let us know. And we'll help you with a, your social media. That might be the thing because I mean, even like the, the guy that, that that I was hanging with, he was part of the street team. Like mm -hmm. he was part of the, the local gathering street team. He actually helped with the at the info tent and helped hooking uh, people up with whatever they needed uh, that first day. So it is very volunteer based. Uh, so maybe that's what needs to happen is for you know some of the fans to step up and say, listen, you got a hole here. Because there were a lot of situations that were weird. Like, like uh, I saw on the app, it said, hey, this person was moved to this stage. Because the first night, they, they didn't have wrestling, but they were going to do some performances at the wrestling stage. Uh, but they had uh, power issues or setup issues of some sort. And things got moved around a little bit, right? And then, I mean, how many times, Katie, at PodCamp, we would put a tweet out and say, hey, by the way, uh, this got moved here. Or make sure this is happening. Or this is going on with parking outside or something like that. I felt like there was so much, like, I... I didn't ever feel, I, I probably should have tried at some point, but I didn't ever feel if I asked a question to the Twitter account, anybody would ever answer me. And we even saw like a little wrestling show like uh, AIW a few weeks ago in Cleveland. We're completely on top of something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, is there, um, is there a technology or is there um, something where you could, like a GPS-based, where you were able to, you know how we get the, the alerts on our phones, um, you know, weather alerts or whatnot, where um, like a central body could send out to a specific area, uh, maybe, you know, oh, everybody in the area within a mile or so gets this alert that, all oh, the stage changed or something along those lines. Is that a thing? Uh, that's actually kind of a sort of the technology that they were, like, the, well, we were talking about, the, like, kind of the close Bluetooth stuff with those guys from Alpha Lab. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I think you'd have to have a certain app to do that. Mm hmm I was following your location and like 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 say if you had the uh, ICP app and I noticed it did ask about your location because there's actually a thing in there where you get points when you've checked in at a show mm. for attending a show and they I don't see that they really have much that they give you other than like this image kind of situation uh, but but that's definitely already there in that so if everybody like maybe had the ICP app on their Android and iPhone uh, they could use that location to just spit that out a little bit. So, I mean, but, but I don't know. I, I think they're just not thinking about that side of the organization. So, but, you know, especially that line situation. Holy crap. You, 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 you bought a ticket in advance and it didn't matter. You just got thrown into an eight hour line with everybody else anyways. So, um, but it is interesting. They actually had, wasn't there, did the, did the band that they give you have RFID? Did we discover last year or something? Like, like, so that it wasn't, like, uh, copyable, but, uh, like, because they made you, like, go up, you hand them a ticket, they hand you your program, uh, and they put the band on your arm, but I don't know. But uh, go check that out, plenty of pictures up there. Uh, Google Photos has been really fun. Uh, they, I, you may see a tweet every once in a while from me where I say, hey, here's a very uh, a strange video that Google uh, Photos made of my gathering trip. Like, really awesome video, but there's like a country twang music to the background of it, to the juggalo stuff. And it's just very, it doesn't entirely, like I kind of want to just take that video and put better music to it or something. Um, but uh, let's yeah, see if I can pull it up here. Uh, but, but it does such a good job. And now, I usually get these because the talking head stuff like we do here on Tuesday night, sometimes I'll batch all that together. And just like me talking in different poses with different graphics <laughs> in front of me, or sometimes with guests, you know, sometimes I'll pop them up or something. But it was nice to have a lot of really dynamic, different kinds of stuff um the only the weird thing is sometimes i took pictures like as i ventured out from the gathering so it doesn't entirely fit the theme but uh but it, it again it's really nice it's all the nice spots it's auto stabilizing everything it's throwing a filter over everything uh here and there and uh like there's a random picture from cracker barrel for instance uh in that one and and you know adding these nice little ken's burn effects and everything and uh it, it gives you a nice little highlight video which I may just integrate into uh, whatever I end up doing uh, with all this video anyways. Uh, that was a guy with firecrackers on his chest going off. That Ooh. was fun. Had a little bit of a freak show thing going on. But uh, but go check that out. Like I said, follow my Twitter, my Twitter account. It's been very Juggalo-centric the last uh, last week. And uh, we talked about it on the Power Hour. Uh, you can check out at Sorgatron.com. And, uh, and that's all I got there. So, All right. Uh, so everybody's in the studio. That means they're eating the pizza. And that pizza is provided by our friends at Slice on Broadway. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com. They're here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, uh, as well as the Main Street down in Carnegie, PA. 
Oh, so good. It's such good stuff, guys. Uh, uh, Will, you had you had a little bit of a, of a commentary on, on, on why it's awesome here when you got here. Yeah, 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 I did. Because I've been having mediocre pizza for a while. You don't have good stuff on the north side? Uh, I, the stuff I have on the north side is okay. Yeah. But um, I, uh, I've been, you know, kind of traveling lately and... You know the the pizza is just incredibly thick crust. Yeah, and you know small town pizza does not fly. No, it doesn't. No, because yeah. they don't have to try because there's no one to compete against. Exactly. The slice is so good. And what I said was the cheese is chewy. It's got chewy cheese, and that is the the heart of a delicious pizza. It doesn't immediately chewy cheese. That doesn't immediately sound like a great thing when with your pizza. But right. you're you're saying like that that is actually a texture that you need in there. It has perfect mouthfeel. That is what I have to say about Slice on Broadway. I have never had a pizza there that did not have good mouthfeel. No matter what they put on the pizza, they know what they're doing to make it work. There you go. Including their subs. You can get their subs made into a pizza. What is that about? It sounds insane. It's not. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> good stuff. Go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. They're on the Facebooks. They're on the Instagrams. There's PGH underscore Slice on the Twitters. Let them know you heard about them from... The Awesome Cast. Chachi Plays for Kids is coming back again. The 24 hour game thon for youth arts programs in Pittsburgh. August 7th and 8th at the Tunesium or join us live. ChachiPlays.com. Find out how you can make a difference too and donate today. ChachiPlays.com. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA, BA, start. Yeah. All right, check out that and so much more at SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of great shows, a lot of great content, a lot of great stuff planned, including 24 Hours of Gaming with Chachi at ChachiPlays.com, which will be, if you join us here, live.SorgatronMedia.com. It will be in the same spot, uh, the streaming feed. We'll be using the YouTube live this year. And uh, I don't know if we even had that last year when we ran. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyways, go so go please check that out. Donate. Tell your friends. Share it. Check out the videos on our uh, Facebook and our Twitters. Uh, you hanging with your jag off we did a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, it's a uh, tons of fun. Um, that guy, that guy's a jag off. Um, <laughs> ate fries the entire time we were filming. I don't even know where he got the fries from. To be fair, uh, he just pulled out fries and started eating. This is the guy that pulled out Oreos uh, from his pocket in a napkin in front of uh, Mayor Bill Peduto during his interview right. and asked him if he wanted some. Right. I, I mean, he's he's uh, he's a jagoff. <laughs> so go over, go over and watch the video and uh, uh, look at me tolerate that jagoff. <laughs> go check it out. All right, we got a couple of stories here lined up. Um, a little light. I know I was a little out of communication, but uh, this one caught my attention when I got back to civilization a little bit. Not that I was really away, away from technology at all. Very good service out there in the hills of Ohio. Uh, but uh, this one, this is more gaming, but I think more so technology than anything else, Chachi. I think you'd be interested in this. Half Life barely runs on a smartwatch. Uh, he's actually trying this out on a uh, Google Watch. I forget which. Uh, which specific one he's using but it's the original half-life it's the original uh quake 2 engine version of the game and it's very adequate holy crap it's actually uh, lg's first generation g watch um and uh like i said it works pretty well it's a very hacky thing you're not going to be just sitting down and playing this thing there's some touch controls uh to the game it's not playable it really isn't but it no, runs. it's running at 23 frames per second Mm -hmm. Not playable. Well, I, I don't know. I've I've run like games on my old PC of that era that were playable, but I'm saying like control wise, it's not playable, right? But uh, yeah. but, but the fact that it's I, but but still that they were able to run this on 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 your watch kind of uh, kind of shows where we are technology wise because you remember the size of the computer we needed to run this game back in the day, right? Yeah, I'm using one as a footrest right now. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's a feat. I'm not going to take that away from him. Mm. Uh, but it, it barely runs is is accurate. Uh, 23 frames per second is not running. Um, touch controls, not happening. No, no, not just, with a game like just that. Not, not, not for Half-Life at all. Um, but yeah, kudos. It, 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 we're closer to my ultimate tech wish. 
my ultimate tech wish is almost here. Okay. Well, is that the screen in the arm one? It is. The screen in the arm. That's what I'm waiting for. When I can control my phone and get all of my text messages on an implanted LCD screen in my wrist or forearm, then then I'll be happy. But well, until then, you know, we might be trying. we might be a step towards that because last week we talked about this biofuel thing, and I thought that might be a, a you know towards the idea because I mean, if the screen could just work off of the energy your body is generating, right? I mean, that, that's that's perfect, right? You don't have to charge right. it. All it needs is Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> Bluetooth running off of your 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 sugar content. I need to eat another right. donut. My screen's looking dim, right? Yeah. I um I mean there's that what circuit I think it's called or circlet bracelet that they're working on that'll right. uh, project the screen onto your arm. We just close, but come on, let let's not kid ourselves. It's not an implant. Mm -hmm. As one who loves tattoos, I need an implant. <sighs> Awesome. From that, hey, uh, Katie, tell me about Chubbies. Chubbies. Okay. It is a men's shorts line. It's a company that's been around since, like, what, 2011. Um, uh, you, uh, you have to see the picture. The one picture they have on this uh, particular um, article is oh, a gentleman just laying with, with, with the buffalo. Oh, there yeah. it is. With There's the buffalo. Like a oh, yeah. It's over. Uh, their, their target is the um, millennial male. And mm -hmm. shorts not fitting properly. If you go down a little bit more on this article, uh, you will see a nice video um, that they created. And there's a gentleman in little pink shorts, and he is not happy with his little pink shorts. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's little polka dot shorts there, too. Hey, <laughs> gentlemen in their little tight short shorts. <laughs> they hate their <laughs> shorts. But they've created these these shorts, uh, not well, short videos, I should say, instead of actual short shorts. They've played, created shorts, eh, but whatever. Um, they're seeing more traction on Facebook than they are YouTube, which is kind of backwards with the whole millennials thing that they are using YouTube. But they're seeing uh, more shares, more interactions, more on Facebook. And they've kind of hit their, their run here. And um, what's interesting about them is uh, they were, well, what, one of the interesting things is they were talking about how on um, Facebook, Facebook, you only have to watch three seconds of a video. Right. As opposed to 30 seconds of a YouTube video to count as a view. Right. Which is fantastic because honestly, there are so many YouTube videos that people have posted that I don't want to actually watch and give them credit for me watching. So now I know I just have to click off of it in less than 30 seconds. Um, also, uh, this is also very important because I have Chachi on the show. If you go to the website uh, for Chubby Shorts, you will notice that um, at the bottom of the page, I, I love their social media presence. It's just fantastic. On the bright bottom right-hand side, mm -hmm. it says... Share if you hate pants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So they're just... Oh, well, let me... Uh, let me do that right now yeah you're like i love these people we are best friends i, I mean they're yep. it, it's this very human aspect and very i i just really like their their product and like i said their short videos <laughs> what you the heck is this thing it's america <laughs> it's america it's a it's a he's got a uh, uh eagle head and uh he's got uh america shorts and and shirt and 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 flag and uh there you go there their, you go their jobs are chub jobs Oh jeez. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's it's just it's it's fun. It's like capitalizing on everything millennials like fun. Um, and they you can't put gifts onto uh, Facebook posts, Facebook videos, but they've created gifts by just essentially playing the short clip over and over and over again in a Facebook video, which is fantastic. I think that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's that's hacking it a little bit too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, there's only a, I think 40 people that work for them, and three do the social media or something. Nice. So yeah, it's it's amazing what you can do with some creativity. I just I just had to bring them on the show because you know chubbies shorts. Chubbies, check them out. Their Twitter their Twitter account's pretty funny too. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean, uh, including Groundhog or not Groundhog Day, but uh, Caddyshack. Um. Yeah. I, I followed my heart. I'm now in the bacon aisle. Uh, I mean, it, it's funny stuff, and I haven't seen an ad yet. Oh, oh I mean, there's one. It, it basically, it, it basically is the ad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I, I saw an ad. It, it's a picture of the guy with the eagle head. Oh, um, okay. And it just says "Good morning, neighbor." But I mean, and then the, their latest tweet from two hours ago says, "Hangovers are nature's way of grounding you as an adult." Jeez. So. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Oh, that's amazing. 
<laughs> Go check that out. They're doing it well. Uh, the website is uh, what? Chubbies.com with, Chubby, uh, with an IE. Yep. Chubbies.com. And yep. uh, at least follow them for the entertainment and, 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 and definitely support them if you dig it. So awesome. Uh, so uh, Windows, we're on the eve of Windows 10. Are we excited? I, I know at least one of uh, yeah well, we are. I got you. You're you're the you're the sole uh, uh, Windows only person here. I think right. Well, I guess Chachi, you well you're you're kind of a little bit of both. I guess you're primary Windows over there. No, actually, we're primary Mac. Oh wow! We're primary Apple. Um, I have I have a, a a Windows laptop that runs uh, XP or no, it has it has seven on it now. Yeah. Um, that I use just for ROMs. Nice. So, so you're but, not look you're not looking to upgrade that thing, are you? No, not really. And uh, uh, the other one I had I use is uh, the iMac for editing. Right, right. Uh, so, so, so we're down to Will. <laughs> 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 so, so you're you're running what? You're on seven, eight. Uh, my desktop is running seven. My laptop is running eight. Okay, and and you're you're in line for both of them to upgrade. Uh, uh yes. Okay. Basically. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, I am. Uh, because I've heard everything I've heard about Windows 10 sounds good mm -hmm. so far, mm -hmm. and um, I uh, I like I like a good technology refresh. You know what I mean? Like once or twice a year, I will just back up all the stuff I want to save off my computer, completely wipe all the hard drives, and reinstall Windows. Um, and it feels like a new computer, and I can set, I can customize it however and I want. I again. recommend everybody do that once a year. So do I. To be honest. Yeah, my my. Um, my parents are constantly complaining about how slow their laptops are, and I tell them like it, it it's like a car; it needs service. Mm -hmm. You have to it's take a, care it's a of it. Tune up. Exactly, it needs a tune up, and computers do that. And it's not, you know, common, like widely accepted knowledge that you have to do this because then it's something hard. You have to be able to do this mm -hmm. and not just rely on your kids to do it. To, so to be fair, it's easier today. I feel. I agree. I totally agree. Most, it's easier today. Most, but our parents still aren't going to do no, it. No, no, no. They're still afraid of it because yeah. you are wiping everything. Did I put everything in the right place? But it, it, like, we need to train We need to train our parents. Yeah. It's like put everything in that one drive. That's mm -hmm. important because let's be honest. Are you really using more than 15 gigabytes of stuff? Right. Uh, I mean, they're, they're not downloading things because they have YouTube. I would think. I would hope. Uh, it depends. Uh, I think that's why the, the market existed for uh, like netbooks and things like that things with very tiny hard drives right. because they weren't saving things because right. of youtube and because of cloud storage and all that um but i think um i think that came along at a time where they it was unfamiliar to them still mm -hmm. you know my parents still want a nice big hard drive for whatever they want to save so i think my dad's an exception because he does photography but um, right 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 yeah. but, but but generally our parents are mostly just consumers right mm -hmm. yeah so I, I i would think like uh, unless they're you know so like your dad that's actually a maker on a computer mm -hmm. you know so yeah. he's going to need a little bit more from that so they just want to get something and have it work right the end right and that i don't know where that comes from because everything else that they've ever bought needs upkeep cars need upkeep televisions need upkeep houses need upkeep mm -hmm. but they think computers should just just straight up work Right. How right. did we get on this subject? We're supposed to be talking about Windows 10. No, this, no this, I think it's very pertinent to the discussion about Windows 10 because there's going to be a lot of people saying, oh, what is this new thing? Oh, I just updated my computer and it looks different. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. They might have signed this thing and says, oh, get this thing because it's, it's mostly going to come down as a Windows update if you have these other versions. That's true, and I actually need to send my parents a message now so that they will put in their reservations so they actually get the free version. That's right. And then yeah. they're going to have up to a year to do it, so it's not a huge, huge deal. Mm -hmm. But um, but but no, and I think I think it's mostly going to be safe for people from all accounts. But uh, again, just to remind them, hey, make sure you have everything backed up. Make sure if you're mm -hmm. using that, that SkyDrive or something. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly. I, I, think, I think... I think it's going to be really good for parents. Because yeah. it's closer to Windows 7 than to Windows 8. Right. I've heard that it's got the best things from Windows 7 and Windows 8 kind of combined into something new. So. I think Chachi's arranging his computer over there. <laughs> I needed a screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> He's doing work during the show. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but no, uh, generally, uh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I, think, uh, I think I really feel, we'll see. I, I played a little bit early on with the technical preview with it. And again, it just it does feel like... We took everything we did different in Windows 8 and 
minimized it over here and mm -hmm. we're getting rid of this stuff that confuses and pisses people off if they don't have a touch screen but it'll still take advantage if you have that touch screen computer right. like even more so but it's not going to be confusing to everybody else that just wants a windows machine right um chachi are you guys you guys probably aren't even close to a discussion on upgrading <laughs> 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 you're funny sort no um the closest thing we're coming to as for upgrading is uh, Windows 7 64-bit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're just getting to 64-bit? Yeah, that's the closest thing we're coming to as a, uh, for an update. Okay, okay. But so, is this even... Are you, are you, you're probably still in wait-and-see approach for this, right? Right. Okay. Um, it, it, it won't happen. Um, it may happen uh, five years from now mm -hmm. if Windows 10 is still a thing. Right, but it probably won't. It probably won't happen at all. Right, right. Uh, well, it, is, it might be that this is the last Windows. I mean, it's it sounds like they're aiming towards we're going to have Windows 10 and we're going to have incremental upgrades to that. Period. And right. I really like that they're doing uh, an upgrade system similar to what Apple does. I mm -hmm. think that's fantastic. Uh, entirely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, for instance, uh, in Chachi's realm, they're not getting it for free. Right, but they also have higher and higher levels of support, yeah. etc. We pay we pay a poop ton. Yeah, exactly, and for, that's for, for special support. The dip, um, yeah. If we call Microsoft at four in the morning, they answer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And and, and, and and plus, you guys get different tools for deploying that across like your a giant network, like you guys have to do for your for your company, right? Right. So, so I, I mean, we, we get what we pay for, and we pay for a lot. I think the difference uh, is it, it, it's, it's becoming uh, Mac-like for us at this level, at least at the moment, temporarily. Yeah. We'll see if this continues, but it sounds like it's not going to. The other interesting thing from this, I don't know if you're aware, Will, if you have the home version, which if you're getting it free, that's probably what you're going to end up with, mm -hmm. you can't not update. Right, yeah. Which, cool for most of us, great for your parents, but your gaming machine, you better watch out a little bit. Right. You know, you got to be a little careful. You can delay to a certain point. There was already a thing with NVIDIA that came up. If you use those very curious and often problematic uh, GeForce experience tools. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you're, are you an NVIDIA guy in that rig over there or, um, or, or AMD? I think I'm like 90% sure it's NVIDIA. Okay. So, uh, but I, I mean, built that's it a long time ago. If you're <laughs> using weird stuff like that, but it's 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 gonna be if uh, like I'm not upgrading studio computer staying at Windows 8. I really kind of shouldn't have upgraded to 8.1 to be quite honest. But uh, see, I disagree because 8.1 is vastly better than eight. Yes, so much better but than eight. I just need this thing to do that that thing on the screen right there, right. and record and not have a problem, right. And I don't give a crap how it looks like otherwise if it's Windows or Mac or anything. And that's why I picked a Windows machine instead of a Mac mm -hmm. because the software works on both. And if it's going to work just as good on a third of the price PC that I picked up for this as it would have on a Mac Pro, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the PC. But, yeah, but 8.1 but .1 was like stability issues too and speed issues. So it might have like it that. might have actually helped me out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. that's, they're also saying that Windows 10 is going to be it's going to be able to work better on lesser computers. Right, right. Which it, is also... A, they're going to be cleaning right. it up a little bit. Uh, what, yeah. uh, Mac's doing this too, where, mm -hmm. um, where as long as you can get that Snow Leopard on your computer, you can upgrade to the most recent version. Mm -hmm. Like, like they, they left that upgrade path for everybody, and it's all kind of incremental. We've stopped the speed wars, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Katie, you're, the, you're, you're in a Mac world. What do you think of all this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No, <laughs> no, because no, it's one of those things. That's my mom has a. Uh, I'm, it's going to be concerned with my mom and updating because she's Windows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing peekaboo with a certain um, Carlin's. Yes. <laughs> on Twitter. Hello. <laughs> we have studio guests for our later shows. Um, but anyways, did you get some pizza over there? Get some, no, get just some get pizza. Some pizza while it's still warm. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, my it's what it's there hello, for. Hello, hello. We, we get distracted easily. That's also why we had the dog kind of rolling uh, earlier. So go check it Shiny out. Shiny keys. Shiny keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so so uh, get in line for that if you haven't yet. Uh, if you have Windows Seven or Eight, you may need to have updated to eight point one. 
in order to see it, but you'll see a little Windows icon in, down by the clock in the lower corner in the tray. Click on that. That'll put you through the process, and you'll be able to do it. If you don't have a computer going, there is still the trick. Uh, I think you can still, at this point, install the technical preview, be part of the Windows Insider program. You will still be part of the Insider program after it updates officially to Windows 10. Uh, so you'll get kind of updates earlier before, like Katie's mom does, mm -hmm. which, you know, just make sure you're not on the holy crap canary in the coal mine uh, alpha uh, uh, release schedule uh, when you're in there. But if you're probably know enough to get an ISO, put it on a thing, you can find the uh, key the key for it. They don't actually have it on the website, but you can still, still find that or if you have that from before, uh, maybe an early technical release or something like that. It should update through and, uh, and you'll get Windows 10. So... Uh, I just wonder at this point, because again, I'm, I'm kind of like worried. I don't have a disc. How does my, what do we do when we need to reinstall, reinstall Windows? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I, even on the Mac side, like, that's why I still have the Snow oh, Leopard disc. You have to, you have to make a disc. You have to make a disc yeah. before something bad happens. There, yes, there's a utility in the computer. All of those files exist in a protected partition of your hard drive. You have to make a make your backup disks wait, problem wait. is i don't have a drive what do i do now <laughs> you don't have a drive no disk drive oh usb i don't know what to tell it's you. all usb well, I, i'm just telling you i can't make a disk <laughs> <laughs> they are selling and they are also selling windows 10 on a thumb drive nice if you need that nice so i think i think the whole thing is a really huge step in the right direction for microsoft yeah yeah it feels like they're doing all the right right things mm -hmm. so all right, uh, with that, what time is it? Oh, it's time to talk video games, Chach, so we're going to have to roll out of there. Yeah, yeah video, games. video games. Real quick, Dutters, give us the uh, social media rundown. Pew, 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 pow, pow, pew. Um, Twitter is taking down <laughs> copycats. Uh, you can, if you believe someone stole your joke, especially if you oh, are a no. writer, oh, no. um, you can ask Twitter to investigate, and they will look and see and, and approach people and tell them to take down their tweets. Um, let's see. Okay, Twitter also has a new safety center, which mm -hmm. is pretty darn cool if you um, are using Twitter um, and maybe you are a teenager, maybe you're a someone who works in a business or a parent and you don't know how to talk to your whoever you're working with, coworkers about the safe, safely using Twitter. Uh, it provides some advice, which is really neat and it, it kind of a, a reminder that this is Twitter is not just it's out there and I could just delete it anytime. You know, mm -hmm. you should be paying attention. So I think it's really cool that they're, they're doing that and they're kind of giving direction, especially to the younger folks, um, because they're so used to self-destruct those like Snapchat and such. Right. Um, oh, ne Dunkin' Donuts is using seven social media platforms to sell iced coffee to music loving millennials, including Spotify, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Vine, Facebook, and Periscope. Wow. Yeah, they're con they're sponsoring some concerts, and they're going to be kind of essentially just backing them up on every sort of anything they think a millennial's touching. They're on there to see. I I'm curious to see what happens. Because yeah, usually they're like, oh, we're partnering with uh, iTunes, we're partnering mm -hmm. with Spotify, and like that's it. Or Amazon Music to try to get you to use that service. That has to be very interesting. Because I was re I was listening to one thing about the uh, a guy, old luminary in the uh, record industry, was talking about how they sold so many tracks to Rhapsody, uh, like something like uh, eighty thousand tracks. They they sold for like you know very 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 little, right? And they realized like okay, how many of those say it was eighty thousand got redeemed? Oh, about thirty thousand. Yeah, mm -hmm. we made money. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but the, and then how much did they have to do to get every service like that. You know, what kind of deal I had to pull for something like that, you know? Yeah. So, oh, my gosh. Very interesting. Alrighty. Uh, Facebook now lets you restrict you, who views your videos by age and gender. This is the new. Um, yeah, I know. You can, this, is, this is new for Facebook. Uh, kind of, you know, wanting, they want to be the, the go-to ad, the go-to place for companies. And you may be looking for a specific gender or a specific age group. So if my chubbies gets a little too racy. Mm -hmm. You can make sure 18 and over looking at your chubbies. Uh, Meerkat trying to <laughs> Meerkat trying to stay in the race here. Oh. Um, launches a GoPro integration. No. I don't want to sign up for stock tips. Yes, you do. You no. want to learn about stocks? Uh, all what's the happening? stocks. Uh, no thanks. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, no. sell, sell, sell. No thanks. I don't need today's most important stocks. Thank you. <laughs> I just I love this article because I, I think I love the photo more than anything. Ah. <laughs> Hi, friend. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. Meerkat, Meerkat. 
<laughs> catch her. I love it. Um, but they are going to be integrated into GoPro uh, cameras. So you're oh. going to be able to use your iOS uh, 3. Well, the GoPro 3 in the future, in the next update with the GoPro 4, uh, you're going to be able to integrate um, into your uh, Meerkat stream. And um, it's it's pretty cool, I think, uh, as far as like giving another outlet. Uh, they're also, Meerkat is working on what's called a cameo feature. Mm-hmm. Where um, since you're you're you can go through uh, Meerkat with your Facebook, they kind of align themselves with Facebook. Um, I could be recording a Meerkat video and I could switch it over to Will, and he would make a cameo appearance in my video. So wait, so like he takes over the video? Mm-hmm. I think I heard about this like early on that it was coming. Mm-hmm. That so 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 say so say we're at an event. Say we're at you know we're going to cover stuff all around the gathering, and we have this feed. Like I'm at stage X, and then he can pick up from like. You know, stage Y. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And you can have persistent periscoping, or I'm sorry, beer catting kind of coverage from several people at an event. Yeah. Wow. That's, some... that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you can have, we can have a lot of fun with that. That's great. Yeah. So, I mean, they're really, really, um, They've, they've got this going here. They're, the meerkat's not one to be ignored, I, mean, I would say. Mm-hmm. And, um, and finally is, speaking of streaming video, we have another one. Another streaming video app that is on the scene. It's called You Now. Um, I oh, we checked it out earlier. It's, it's it's a much longer stream because you can use your desktop or your your phone on your app to stream a video. And it's essentially you look at j- things that you're interested in. It's a lot. It's very hashtag based. So if you're posting videos, you might hashtag girls, hashtag boys, hashtag music, hashtag anything. But some of the videos were like four hours long. It was literally like a a cam in somebody's house. It was these two girls. Nothing too racy was going on, but it was essentially them in front of their computer living their lives, and they were one of the most viewed for that hashtag. So it feels very Justin TV to me. Yeah, it's it's a young audience, too. Um, looking through it, it was like, oh, wow, there's everybody's there are a bunch of kids on here. Um, <laughs> you know, those old people. But this is uh, definitely a new one, and it was at uh, VidCon. Um, okay. Actually, I Justine was up on their stage. Uh, I don't think she's actually joined feel, it officially she, yet. Yeah, there's like super young girls on here, and I feel really weird right yeah, now. It, it's, yeah, it's it's got an interest. It, it's it's very popular. It, yeah. It's it's very very popular streaming. I mean, there's a nice little family. We're watching this video, but none of the videos really seemed very. Um, I don't know. Like, like you would have to be careful what you're watching. I would say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or what you wouldn't saw people watching. Let's go Snapchat. Here you go. Somebody just uh, streaming their game. Yeah, which there I thought go. was cool because you could, like I said, you could do that for hours, mm-hmm. it, unlike the shorter ones, and especially if you're at home on your uh, desktop, mm-hmm. and people would sit and watch. And I think it'd be fun because especially like GTA, we're watching a Grand Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I could do and, that. And it's literally just. I mean, this I've done this with Periscope a little bit, and mm-hmm. if I want to do, I, I, I have a feeling if I want to do this Let's Play stuff, it's basically like, hey, I'm playing a game. Here's a Periscope. I throw, I set it up on a tripod, and it's pointing at the the screen, and that's it, right? Mm-hmm. It's not exactly optimized for it or anything like that. But people watch. I was amazed at how many people stuck around while I played um, Arkham City for like a while. Uh, one night so you know i i think it's 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 worth looking at for something like that and if you want to get into this kind of thing it's it's a nice easy way to yeah. do it instead of hooking up all this technology to stream it the right way and be a pewdiepie mm-hmm. you know but if you just want to dabble a bit mm-hmm. uh you know definitely definitely worth an option so, their app is much cleaner looking than periscope or meerkats as far as the the feedback and the chatting um, it's, you know, the videos at the top, you have a clear chat section at the bottom and you, it's white background, black words, or, you know, unless you're doing like emojis or something or um, emoticons and, um, but it's all very clean, very easy. Uh, because I, you notice with like Periscope and Meerkat, you, you have a lot of things that could just kind of go up over the screen in the video and you really, it's kind of hard <laughs> bless you, to keep your allergic to me too. <laughs> to, it's, it's a lot harder to, to we're, oh, Carlin's, we're both allergic to Matt Carlin's. No. No, will you give me a paper towel? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were pointing at my car. No. Thank you very much. Uh-huh, guys. This is a paper towel. I'm showing off the app. It's okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not showing the app to everybody about was, whatever sorry, is going on over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that does look that myself. does look really clean. Uh, especially, you know, the the site itself looks like you know it's very hashtaggy. Has a lot of text up and down the either side mm-hmm. going on. And I guess there's a bit of a uh, I guess this is kind of a chat room kind of situation yeah. over here too. Yeah, so. it's, it's, I, I like the look of it a lot more. I wish you know the other ones would get on board with the cleaner mm-hmm. chat and. Um, but again, like it's got a more broad chat versus like you know I, I hate how like I lose things in Periscope. 
Yeah. You know, uh, and I, I can't, in, I mean, I just miss everything mm -hmm. when, when it comes up because usually I'm filming something and I'm involved in that and I can't go back and, and say, hey, you know, uh, where are you? What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. wait, hold on. What does that say? What does that say again? Or, or weird, th or when people make weird requests, like, do you like roast beef? Like, what the hell? What are you doing here? So, <laughs> get out of here. But, but yes, awesome. that's your social media rundown. Check that out, younow.com if you want to check that out. All right, uh, Chachi Plays coming up, ChachiPlays.com. ChachiPlays.com! Oh, he's, he's excited. He's I excited. I am super excited. We'll be talking about that next week, of course. Uh, that's the uh, 7th and the 8th. If I got the numbers yep. right, down at the Toonzium, we'll be streaming here live at SorgatronMedia.com. You won't be able to miss it if you're following any of our stuff over the weekend. Uh, yeah, yep. I definitely recommend if you're in the area, come down live and check it out. Are there spots open still to play with you? A ton. Okay. Tons of spots open. So just make a fifty dollar donation or more, and we will get you a spot mm -hmm. to play. Uh, Twenty five dollar tournament entry is also available. Uh, Tetris on Friday the seventh at seven. No, eight at eight, and uh, no, uh, Friday the seventh at seven is uh, the first slot, which is already taken. Um, but uh, uh, Mario Kart the next day, two o'clock the eighth, which is a Saturday. That's right, and uh, and, and you never, I don't know what your setup is for this year, but here's the uh, Tetris uh, uh, Tetris Champ Trophy from last year. I don't think this spins so much. Yeah, it does spin a little bit. A little kinda, bit. Sorta. You know, uh, so he goes all out. He goes all out for these things. So. Yeah, and if you're looking to play Mario Kart, um, I'm in on that tournament. There you go. Phones on the head time over on the couch. They're not phones. K what, what am I looking at? Those aren't phones. At, those aren't phones. They're way too big for phones. Those are pads. Yeah. They have pads on their heads. Yes, pads. At K Dutters on the Twitters. <laughs> She's taking pictures of potties and such. I didn't get you enough potty picks. No, I know. You really didn't want any after that first day. Oh, I bet let's, not. Let's be, let's be quite honest. No, let's. <laughs> it was very skeptical. That's kind of very beret looking, my tablet. A little bit. A mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, wee wee. Will Rutherford, he's at DJ Lunchbox on the Twitter. Twitter PanelRiot.com. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'll be in the Sorg morning afternoon power hour at Sorgatron.com. It's true. Feel free to cross post that too. Yeah. Wherever LB in the Sorg sounds like a really bad morning radio show. That's what we're like going for. Time. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the goal. That's yeah. kind of the goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. So. And uh, uh, Panel Riot, just, uh, we just had our one year anniversary. Our yes. uh, big one year celebration show will be up this week. Yay. Awesome. Go check it out. Go check it out. Is it is it you reading X Men names for an entire episode? No, no again? I already did that. <laughs> you did that. Already. I already did this year. It's Avenger names. It's Avenger names. No, yes. God, no, no. <laughs> Jesus. That'd be a hell of a list. I really have to hold off on for something really, really big for that one, like the hundredth episode or something, because mainly I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, like it's not as entertaining as the X Men list. It, no, the X Men list was brutal. Mm -hmm. It was really unpleasant to do after a while. <laughs> Wow. We'll come up with something special. All right. Sorgatron.com for my basic sorgonomics. Having some fun there. Including uh, how technology helped the dog find its home in under two hours. There you go. Uh, social media, microchips, all kinds of stuff. Uh, that, that's up from this morning. And whatever else I come up with. And, of course, uh, sign up for the newsletter and uh, the bloggy blogs. I know there wasn't one last week since I was occupied, but that's okay. Why are you just putting stuff on your heads? What's happening here? Somebody take a picture of this. Uh, check out everything awesomecast.net subscribe uh, to this check out the awesome <laughs> chat we talked with oh, just... it's a ring toss game it's a ring to... sorry audio <laughs> sorry audio um <laughs> Uh, but go check that out in uh, our great chats. Uh, we talked to Justin Kanaki, co-founder of PodCamp Pittsburgh, last week about that social media, freelancing, and more. And we talked to it, uh, um, uh, uh, name escapes me, from uh, Final Fantasy and the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra that's coming up Arnie this Roth. Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Arnie Ross. And, uh, Roth. Roth. Thank you. Uh, but that's up there over at insertcoinbegin.com. And Chachi, you'll be attending that, right? Yeah, we gave away two. We gave away two sets of tickets, and I got a set of tickets, and so I'll be there with fans of Insert Coin to begin. Go, go, say hi to Chachi if you're going. And uh, taking taking in the orchestra. That's right. It's a it's a culture night with Chachi. So mm. me, I'll be at a wrestling show because I hate culture. So 
<laughs> but go check all that stuff out. Uh, so thank you, everybody. And thank you, our studio audience. Hey, studio audience. Yeah. This, you need to do this more often. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you to our awesome audience in the chat, in the studio. Uh, you've been our awesome audience as well. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.